Well, this is today's work site. We've got uh, Aaron up in the tree cutting the limbs off. We have power lines here and the house right there. So we're gonna get all the tops off this thing before it gets dropped. So he's, uh, they got ropes tied to it, trying to pull it away from the house. We've got tons of equipment. We got a chipper shredder, a dump trailer. We got a dump truck. We'll haul the, well, anything we can throw in the, in there, we'll haul with that. Take all the chips in this dump trailer and that's all going to the house. So we'll have uh, lots of wood to heat the house and wood chips for the garden. But tons and tons of work to do. The rest of the trees we're taking down, possibly those pine trees, as well as the maples in the back. So lots of work. That's my, uh, I have a Milwaukee electric chainsaw. I heard electric up there, yeah. yeah. to make it faster. Go, go, go. Guys didn't walk in at all. Perfect. Great. It only hit everything we were trying to miss. Well, having a dump truck's pretty handy, isn't it? <laughs> That's one uh, one full dump truck load right here, and uh, it's a lot of wood. Doesn't look like it, but uh, this will heat uh, heat the house for probably a couple weeks. <laughs> Burn through quite a bit of this. This is soft maple, a lot of it, and then there's a couple pine trees in there. Uh, pretty good sized pine trees though, so I mean that'll split up into into quite a few pieces. And then I brought uh, this is two trailer loads. Uh, full. Actually, this is uh, some wood that I got from the neighbor. He had a tree down from last year. It was laying in his yard. He asked me to come grab. I grabbed that. A hardwood of some sort. Uh, I've got more oak to, to cut down. I've got some of this to split. But this is two of the my, my utility trailers full. So that little little trailer is probably what a 12 foot trailer, maybe 14 foot trailer. A uh, little utility trailer. I can haul quite a bit of wood in that. So this is uh, now my next project. The work site switches from from a friend's house to home. And I want to get all this split uh, as soon as possible. So I'm trying to uh, I'm trying to learn here and and uh, not make the same mistakes uh, every year. Uh, every year I run a little bit short on wood. So today is May 1st here in Michigan, and I have shut off the wood boiler. We will no longer heat with our wood boiler. So our hot water is back to propane and electricity, uh, and then our furnace is back to propane. And it's just for the end of the season here. We have had a, a, a spring that is just stretching and stretching and stretching in, in with cold weather. And even in, on May 1st here, we're supposed to get a little bit of snow tonight. So it's been cold. My goal every year is always the same. Uh, whether I meet that goal or not is, is always the challenge. But my goal is to get all the wood that I need for the entire next season to the property and split and stacked by about July. 
Uh, so I can, if I have stuff that I've cut and throughout the winter time or stuff that's been down, dead, you know, standing dead, all that kind of stuff, I get that first and get it processed. And that'll be well seasoned by the time I start heating at the end of October. And the wood that I cut uh, and split later in the season, as the season goes on, that stuff will, will not get burned until the next year. And ideally, I would continue working on wood into the fall, which is another great time to, to split and stack wood. And if I had enough, that would be the wood for the, the following year. And so I really need to get ahead of it here. And uh, that's the plan. So I try to get as much as I can from offsite brought to the house from friends and family and neighbors and people who just hear I heat with wood and they want a tree taken down. And I try to get all that wood here. And uh, this year I'm gonna, I'm gonna get right at it and try to split it and stack it uh, right away. And then a new plan that I'll take you guys along for throughout the summertime here is uh, just to kind of give you a, the lay of the land here. So if you look off to my left, there's a hill goes down and down there was where we had stacked all, a ton of our wood. So what I would do is I would come in the driveway, I'll go up a little drive on the side, and then I would dump all the wood right down in that, so that brown spot right there in front of the, the evaporator and the beehive. And then what I was doing was bringing up loads uh, into this IBC tote, either with the forks of the tractor, taking the IBC tote down and getting wood, or using the golf cart and the, the cart whenever I could, uh, and going down and bringing wood up, or just using the tractor bucket and bringing it up and dumping it in the tote. So I had a few different ways to do that, but it was kind of a pain. What I would like to do is clean up that whole area, use it for other purposes down there, have more of a, a yard space and greenhouse space and set evaporator and all that stuff down there. And I'd like to move over to this spot where uh, I'm already up the hill and it's a lot easier. So from here, it's just kind of a flat, straight shot right over to the wood boiler. And I can use a wheelbarrow and take about a wheelbarrow load in the morning, a wheelbarrow load in the afternoon, and then one in the evening or uh, whatever it needs. So my plan here is to get the splitter uh, back into this spot and I'm gonna have to do some work in here. I'm gonna level some areas out, uh, do a little bit of uh, dirt work and maybe make like a pad right in here where I can back the splitter in, where I'll have room to dump piles of wood, split through it, put it on the other side. And then I'd like to make a, a spot somewhere in here where I can stack all the wood. So maybe I'll make uh, some space up there to stack uh, cords of wood that way, or maybe I'll find some space, you know, right up here where this trailer is and flatten a spot out here and stack wood. So I'd like all the wood to be stacked up here this year. It should make my life a little bit easier. All the wood that we got from, uh, from my friend's house was, we only got one of those maple trees down and then uh, I think three pine trees. So there are two real big maples still in the backyard that they're gonna get down next weekend and I'll get all that wood here. So I gotta get this process stacked and out of the way, and then we'll be taking a few more loads. Uh, hopefully we get the dump truck again, that was handy. And uh, we'll, we'll be able to bring that wood here. So here's, uh, here's for hoping that I have the time and, and energy to, to stay ahead of this and get, get finally a whole year ahead. I had enough wood for the year this year, just barely, uh, but a lot of it wasn't seasoned as much as I'd like and stuff like that. So I really want to get ahead this year. Uh, and so I'll take you guys along and, and let you know how it goes. You think I'll make it? Think I'll, think I'll get a, a whole season ready and seasoned this year? Uh, let's hope I do. Thanks for tagging along today on the SSL Family Dad channel. Of course, subscribe if this is your first time here. Don't forget to hit thumbs up on the video and every video and share them around to friends and family and people that you like. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.